Hi students. In civil engineering project management, we have completed the fifth module. And now we are moving to the sixth module. So module six deals with construction procedures. The first part or the first portion of module six that is construction procedures is different methods of construction. What are construction methods? Construction methods are the procedures and techniques that are used during the building process. Major types of construction. The major types of construction includes residential building construction, institutional and commercial building construction, specialized industrial construction and infrastructure and heavy construction so these are the major types of construction construction of residential buildings construction of institutional and commercial buildings construction of specialized industrial buildings and construction uh, development of infrastructure and heavy construction works Different methods of construction. Building construction. Building construction is usually further divided into two. Residential building construction and non-residential building construction. Residential building construction is the construction of residential buildings such as houses, apartments, flats, etc. And the non-residential building construction is the construction of other type of buildings such as commercial buildings, shopping complexes, malls, hospitals, educational institutions, etc. Second one is commercial or industrial construction. Industrial construction includes the construction of refineries, power generation plants, mills and manufacturing plants. It also includes office structures, shopping malls and factories as well as churches and other houses of worship. Third one is civil construction or infrastructure development. Infrastructure is often called heavy or heavy NV civil or heavy engineering works that includes public works, dams, bridges, highways, railways, water or wastewater and utility distribution. Now, the difference between traditional and moder modern construction methods. Actually, the modern construction method uses the techniques of modular construction. The modern construction methods are methods that are developed in construction industry with proper planning and design so that each product project reduces the construction time, cost and maintain overall sustainability of the project. Modern construction or modular construction is a process that uses prefabricated elements that are assembled in a factory and are transported to the site entirely or mostly completed. Modern construction technology is a collective term used to describe a number of construction methods. Next is traditional or conventional construction methods. Conventional building method is defined as components of the building that are prefabricated on site through the process or timber or plywood formwork installation, steel reinforcement and cast in site. Conventional buildings are mostly built of reinforced corn frames. The term traditional is often used to describe the types of linear construction where each individual step is only not constructed entirely on site but also needs to be completed before the project can move to the next stage. Traditional construction is a process whose primary structural elements are constructed largely site. So some of the uh, modern construction methods or techniques used are 
first one construction with lightweight aerated or aircrete blocks autoclaved aerated concrete is a lightweight precast form concrete building material which is suitable for construction aircrete has a low density and excellent insulation properties they provide a far greater thermal efficiency it can be used for the construction of foundations internal and external leaves of cavity walls solid walls internal walls and party walls second one thin joint block work it is a fast clean and accurate system for construction using autoclaved aerated concrete blocks of close dimensional tolerance with 2 mm to 3 mm mortar joints the figure shows the picture of thin joint block work thin layer mortar is a premixed cement based product that only requires the addition of water to make an easily applied mortar it differs from general use mortar in that it sets more rapidly thus giving early stability to the construction it provides an alternative to traditional sand or cement mortar and allows the depth of the mortar to be reduced from at least 10 mm to 3 mm or less than that third one pre cut pre cast flat panel system or pfp system the pfp system involves the production of various structures such as doors windows walls and floor units in the factory which are then transported on site and erected here we can see the uh, in the picture we can see the erection of pre cast flat panel system floor and wall units are produced off site in a factory and erected on site to form robust structures which is ideal for all repetitive cellular projects the panels may include services windows doors and finishes next is the fourth one precast foundations this system is made use of in laying of foundation of a structure with concrete piles usually mostly to provide the robustness and later connected to give the foundation its shape the walls comprise uh, high strength concrete panels manufactured off site Each panel contains solid concrete studs for load bearing support and a built-in concrete footing. The picture shows the precast foundation. Next is hybrid concrete construction. The picture is representing a hybrid concrete construction. Hybrid concrete construction is a method of construction. which integrates precast concrete and cast in site concrete to make best advantage of their different inherent qualities the structures are durable and consistent in performance hybrid concrete construction produces simple buildable and competitive structures next is 3d polymetric construction The 3D volumetric construction or modular construction techniques designs of how to make a modular house. In 3D volumetric construction, three-dimensional structures are made within the factory by keeping the conditions within strict range. Then it is transported to the construction site either in its very basic or complete form. This technology offers the quality of concrete where it's in terms of fire resistance, mass or sound. It is one of the most important method of construction in case of modern construction. And next is insulating concrete form work. It is a building system that uses lightweight form work to support concrete walls. 
technology provides expanded polystyrene panels that provide insulation to a wall of a building which is filled with the certified concrete to produce an unbreakable structure. The polystyrene makes sure to trap the heat inside while the concrete gives an acute strength to the wall. The picture shows the insulating concrete formwork. Next is flat slab. It is another important modern construction technique. It is a reinforced concrete slab supported directly by concrete columns without the use of beams. The flat slab is defined as one sided or two sided support system with shear load of the slab being concentrated on the supporting columns and a square slab called drop panels. Flat slabs are considered suitable for most of the construction and for asymmetrical column layout like floors with curved shapes and ramps. The picture shows the representation of a flat slab. Hoping that you have understood the different methods of construction and various techniques which are used in modern construction field. Now you have to answer these assignment questions and submit me through mail. First question, list out the features of modern construction and traditional construction. You have to list any 5 features of modern construction technique and any 5 features of traditional construction techniques. The second question is, what are the advantages of modern construction over traditional construction? List out any 5 to 10 advantages of modern construction over traditional construction and state whether which one is most beneficial and user friendly. Hoping that you have understood the different methods of construction. Study the portion, go through the video lecture and after that answer these questions and submit as task on as possible. Okay, time safe.